Hey there guys, welcome into the studio. It's the first part of March. We've got a new update to the Bass Pro Shop School of the Year presented by Abu Garcia. Today we're gonna run down the top 25, give a quick breakdown and hear from the number one team and the latest update to the standings. We've got one school run event and the MLF Championship updated in these points. So some major opportunities that have been on the line, some big shakeups inside the standings. We'll get right to it, taking a look at 25th through 21st. Louisiana State University, Shreveport, they move up from 26th into that 25th spot. Erskine, they're in 24th, located in South Carolina, where Lake Hartwell and the championship for the ACA coming up will be later this cycle for the Best Pro Shop School of the Year, presented by Abu Garcia. In 23rd is Lander, also located in South Carolina there. Georgia College in 22nd, and Florida Gateway in 21st. In that first pot of five teams, 21st through 25th, two moving up into the top 25. This go around that is LSU Shreveport, who moved up from 26th, and Lander up from 30th. Now 16th through 20th, we'll take a look. Wabash Valley College, they rank 20th and 19th. Catawba Valley Community College had a big win there in January out in Florida that's got them hanging tight in the School of the Year standings. 18th, Bethel University, former winner of the Bass Pro Shop School of the Year presented by Abu Garcia. And 17th, the University of Tennessee. And in 16th, Tarleton State, who moved up four places to be there in 16th. That group of teams, we got a former school of the year, school of the year winner, several other groups in there, the community college and junior college ranks represented with Catawba and Wabash both. 11th through 15th, East Texas Baptist checks in at 15th, Kentucky Christian 14th, Drury University falls one spot down to 13th, Dallas Baptist checks in at 12th and Blue Mountain Christian University in 11th. A little bit of movement there amongst the teams as East Texas Baptist and Kentucky Christian both move up and Blue Mountain, Dallas Baptist and Drury all falling back in one spot there in 11th through 15th. Now inside the top 10, we'll start with 10th it's Bryan College, 9th University of North Alabama, 8th Emmanuel College, 7th Murray State, in sixth, Carson Newman. Two of those teams making moves up, several making moves down. Bryan College cracking inside the top 10 there, moving from 13th to 10th in this update. Now for the top five, we're gonna take a look at them one by one. Campbellsville University checks in at fifth. They've got 21,940 points. They make the, one of the bigger moves inside this update to the Bass Pro Shop School of the Year, presented by Abu Garcia, going from seventh into fifth. McKendree University, they dropped from second down to fourth in this update. They've got 22,570 points. Of the teams ranked inside the top 10, only two earned less than 2,000 points at the MLF Championship, McKendree being one of those teams as they dropped two spots. Adrian College is ranked in third with 23,160 points, maintaining their third place ranking from the previous update. Auburn University makes the jump from fourth all the way up to second this time. 24,160 points on the season, and University of Montevallo checking into that top spot with 26,895 points. They've got a more than 2,500 point lead over second place as they got the victory at the MLF Championship. As you listen on the Rappler, we are Collegiate Bass Podcast just the end of last week. We talked with Peyton Harris and Dalton Head, winners of that event. They had 66 pounds, 15 ounces, paired with another top 10 finish. Montevallo earned the most points of any team at the MLF Championship last week for 3,820 points. Let's hear from Peyton and Dalton real quick as they talk about what that victory meant for them and their goals for the team for the remainder of the season. As we alluded to, Montevallo chasing history. No team in the history of the Bass Pro Shop School of the Year presented by Abu Garcia has won the title three times, much less three times in a row. Several have done it twice, Montevallo included, along with McKendree University, who did it two years before Montevallo started their run, and I want to say also the UNA did it back a few years ago as well. Peyton, chasing that history, what does the team need to do, need to continue to obviously stack good showings, one on top of the other on top of the other, what are y'all going to do over the next, what are we looking at, three to four months until we get to Lake Hartwell yeah. where everything's on the line. That's going to be triple points. And at the end of day two there, we will crown the Bass Pro Shop School of the Year presented by Abu Garcia for the 22-23 season. What's Montevallo got to do to be at Lake Hartwell at Green Pond Landing holding the trophy for three straight years? I know these boys are hungry, and I, I know that they're going to put in the work. But that's what we got to do. We got to be willing to outwork everybody. And uh, 
I know these boys on this team are ready, ready to take on this challenge. And uh, there's a lot of teams up there shooting to take us down. But uh, I feel like we've got one of the best group of anglers in college fishing right now. So I believe that uh, that they're going to put in the work. I know Dalton and I are for sure going to put in the work. We want it bad. And, uh, I, I, I think that uh, going out there and doing what we do, I mean, it, it, we can't let the pressure get to us, I don't think. I, I, I think if we start thinking about it too much, we're, we're We'll fish scared, and that's what we can't do. We just got to go out there and fish loose, just like we have the whole the whole season so far, and I think it'll work out for it. This update to the Best Pro Shop School of the Year presented by Abdul Garcia, full of a lot of movement up and down in the standings. As we mentioned, LSU, Shreveport, and Lander University moving inside the top 25. They bumped out. Arkansas Tech and Mississippi State as those two teams drop out in the standings. A lot of movement up and down inside the top 25. Every single one of these teams competed at the MLF Championship last week. We're going to have a new video dropping in a couple weeks. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel here, College Bass Fishing on YouTube. Subscribe, hit that button right there, and be on the lookout for more updates coming right out. We're, I'm going to tease it right now. We'll have a video talking about dark horse candidates, teams that are on the outside looking in as it pertains to the top 10, the top 5, and maybe even a dark horse candidate to win the Bass Pro Shop School of the Year presented by Abu Garcia this season. Down in the description, you'll find the link to the latest updated standings, the complete standings for this update in the Bass Pro Shop School of the Year presented by Abu Garcia. Thanks for watching. Like we said, be sure to hit subscribe and we'll see you next time.